Okay, so this is another conservation of energy problem in which we have an object of mass m moving towards a spring uh, at a speed v0, velocity v0. Um, the spring, to begin with, is in its natural land, has a constant k, and the surface is a horizontal surface, coefficient of friction being mu k, so that's a rough surface. Uh, what you see over here is a little free body diagram of this object. Uh, if you remember, the normal force and the force of gravity must be balanced, and the only force acting upon the object uh, is going to be the force of friction in the opposite direction of motion. Um, so uh, the object is now in contact with the spring, uh, and it starts pushing the spring, uh, and it's going to compress the spring until the spring reaches its maximum compression, x max, and when that happens, the object will stop. So we, uh, we need to calculate how much is the maximum compression in this problem, and again, the difference between this one and the previous one I just showed you is that the surface that the object is moving on is a rough surface, so we have coefficient of friction mu k. Uh, so for this kind of problem, since we have friction in the problem, we still have to go back to the strategy I presented to you in my uh, slides. Um, but remember, is the part of the strategy that says when non-conservative forces are present, like in this case the force of friction, we need to consider the absolute value of the work done by the force of friction. Now, this is the expression we came up with in a previous video that shows how to determine, again, this, this video showed you how to determine the work done by the force of friction for this kind of a scenario when an object is moving on a horizontal rough surface, which was negative mu k m g d. Uh, if you don't remember how that was determined, please go back to the other video and watch that before you continue watching this one so you can totally understand the work I'm going to show you here step by step. So now we are going to go ahead and look at the two um, parts of this, uh, prob this uh, diagram. Uh, part A, the object is in motion on the level of reference, so all we have is kinetic energy. So at A, we have kinetic energy. At B, the object has stopped, and the only energy that the system has is the elastic potential energy due to the compression of the spring. So at B, we only have U, E, B. We set those equal to each other, but we also consider the absolute value of the work done by the force of friction. So we are going to say that Ka equals U, E, B plus the absolute value of the work done by the force of friction. Ka is going to be one half mv naught squared. Ueb is going to be one half little k x max squared plus the absolute value of the work done by the force of friction, which is going to be uh, absolute value of let's write this down here actually, plus, plus absolute value of negative mu k m g, but our, our d that we got in the previous uh, video, because that was the variable for the displacement, in this problem becomes x max, because the displacement um, is x max uh, as uh, given by the problem. The displacement of the object from when it starts touching the, the spring to compress it until it stops because the spring has reached its maximum compression. So it's going to be absolute value of mu k m g x max. So when we simplify this, we have 1 half m v naught squared plus 1 equals, not plus, equals 1 half k x max squared plus the absolute value will get rid of the negative here and we'll have left um, mu k m g x max. So now this equation over here, uh, we know everything in it except for x max, but as you can see, x max shows here 
at the second power and here at the first power. So this is going to be a quadratic equation. So let's rearrange it in such a way that we have our quadratic equation. Um, formula ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, which means the first term is gonna be this one, one half kx max squared. The second one will be this one, mu k m g x max. And the third one will be this one, move to the other side, becomes negative one half m v zero squared, and that's equal to zero. So let's uh, recognize here what are the coefficients in the quadratic formula. Remember, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, which means x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So our a is going to be this part over here, right? That's my a. For B, I'm going to have this part over here. And for C, I'm going to have this entire thing with a negative there. So then my X, which in this case is X max, is going to be negative B. That's negative, so fraction part. Negative B, it's negative mu K M G plus or minus square root B squared, which means mu k m g squared minus 4 a c 4 a which is one half k c which is another negative one half m v naught squared all over 2 a which is 2 times one half k so let's just simplify this a little bit to make it look a bit nicer, and, and that's it. We're going to end up with two possible expressions for x max, negative mu k m g plus or minus square root mu k squared m squared g squared minus times another minus makes a plus, the 4 and the 1 half and the other 1 half here cancel out. And we have left k m v naught squared, k m v naught squared. Remember the two and the two and the four cancel out, and the negative times negative makes a positive. And all over the two and the two cancel out here, so we have k in the bottom. So this is the expression that gives us the maximum. Um, compression of the spring and again we have two possibilities here because we had the quadratic equation that gave us two possible solutions minus q minus mu k m g plus or minus square root mu k squared m squared g squared plus k m v naught squared all over k thank you